when we think about Sweden, we obviously think about a big furnishing company, we think about moves and nature, but what we also think about is a good education system. Um, and our interview guest shows that this isn't only the case for schools, but also for business and uh, education. Johanna Frelin is CEO of Hyper Island, which also gets called the Digital Harvard. Welcome, Johanna. Thank you so much. So, uh, what is Hyper Island exactly, and uh, why did you found it? Well, we're actually uh, a training company, and we, we were, we've been around for almost 20 years. And it was founded because uh, the, uh, the founders wanted to revolutionize the education system and to find to train people in another methodology. And the focus is digital, so you know, training people to adapt to the new technology that is emerging. And who do you train? Who goes to school? Yeah, well, we have all kinds of people that go to school. We have students, like real students, you know, young people between 25 and 35 years old. With like, most of them are hipsters with beards. Really cool. Uh, so we have about 500 of those uh, from all over the world. And then we have thousands each year that go through our executive education. That is professionals go going through training so they can adapt their business from being analog into the digital era. Okay, so like an example, so a marketing executive? It could be a marketing executive or project manager or client manager or a CEO um, that needs to learn how to how to work in digital, how to use the network society as an asset, not as a threat, and how to make money on digital, I mean, how, how to move your whole business or your communication skills into the digital era. Is not every business digital now? I Oh no, we've got so much to do. And uh, most people have a website, but that's not being digital. That's like having information on a website. So it's more about how to transform your business to see the business opportunities for different kind of industries uh, in the digital space. You also said that um, businesses and employees are slowing down whilst we as consumers and users are living in a much faster world, like the world is changing the whole time. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is that something happens when we use these really fast users. I mean, we adapt to new stuff all the time on our phones and iPads and so on, and we love new services. When we go to work, we kind of forget all our digital skills, and we come into a company, and we don't really bring that kind of mindset with us to work. So when I look at it, I can't really understand why uh, we are so fast as users, but the companies that have all these co-workers that are really fast users uh, are so slow and that makes a lot of room for entrepreneurs which is great for the entrepreneurial community but of course a lot of traditional companies should also change. So change? What do businesses have to change? Why or what? 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 Well mostly they have to change their mindset. It's about how you operate your business. Uh, so most uh, companies are have heritage from the industrial era where it's very hierarchical and people now and the linear organization and so on and people now talk about they're working in silos, they can't collaborate. And if you're going to have that kind of an organization and that kind of leadership and membership style, you're not going to be fast enough to, to be successful in the digital era. So it's, it's a lot about mindset, about leadership, about how you organize, how you produce stuff, not so like on a, in a factory but in an agile way and that's a totally different way of working. This way of working, uh, executives can learn in Hyper Island? Yes, they can learn this. And at least a minimum, they need to learn as much about it so they don't stop the development. Because there are a lot of talents in the companies that are trying to develop the company and trying to develop products and services. But sometimes I see too often that managers are actually stopping uh, development. And how do managers learn there? Like, is it like going to school? Do they yes. sit down? Or? Yeah, we put them to school but they don't sit a lot. So <laughs> what we do is that we, we have experience-based learning so they get actually to do stuff. So they, they get lectures and so on as well, but a lot of also producing stuff themselves, like a mobile app, for example, to get into, to get the confidence and understand that it's not that hard, actually. Um, but they, it's, so it's a very active learning style. So we talked about stress in business life. What about personal life in my, in my private life? Like I have friends all over the world and it's wonderful obviously, but staying in touch is quite difficult and it's a lot of stress actually. Do you have any like recommendations uh, for me or for other people? Uh, yeah, I, I have some like, um, I think that you are a leader of yourself. 
everybody's a leader. Leadership is too important to leave it to the managers. So you are a leader and a front seat driver in your life. Um, and that means that you need to make like kind, of, kind of a guide. How do you want to lead your life? For example, I've made a guide for myself. I don't measure time so much. I don't measure, you know, oh, I've been working for 10 hours. Oh, I met one of my friends for five hours. I measure things in energy instead. So if I'm tired, because I might have been working a lot, I need to do something that gives me energy. I have two horses, so I go horseback riding. And I think for me that was uh, kind of a relief not to be stressed over time, more to be, you know, think about, I feel tired, what can I do that can kind of balances that out? And then of course, I mean, if you need to shut off communication, I'm, do it. I mean, that's what we have filtering and, and the off button for. <laughs> yeah, it's not always that easy, right? But with all the digital change, um, what challenges do we face like in our daily business life and what can we do against that? I think it's the pace that um, is a big challenge. The pace and actually our fears. Because in, I see a lot of fear in business. Sometimes I think we're not trainers, we're actually therapists. Um, because, you mean by that? No, I mean, but because a lot of um, businesses are very afraid of this cha rapid change that's going on because they know that they are too slow. So they get really scared and they, instead of you know moving into the change, they instead, um, like stick their head in the sand and pretend it's not happening. Um, so I, so what I think you need to do is that you raise competence, everybody's competence, but also to actually see the world the way it is and not resist it, but go with it instead. You also mentioned hierarchical structures. Yeah. We are in Germany here. Um, Germany is still a country where these are very, very important, yeah. and especially in businesses, obviously. Um, is there anything that you predict in the digital change? Will those um, hierarchical structures dissolve? There will always be a need. There will never be either or. I'm sure there will always be a need of a hierarchical structure. For example, when I'm in an airplane and there's a stormy weather, I want the captain really to take charge. I don't want him to have a workshop around it. And, uh, but I think the hierarchical structures today in a lot of hierarchical companies, they are slowing the company down. So I think they will be more and more obsolete the further we come. And we will see more value-based companies where uh, co-workers have stronger own mandates. But there will always be a combination, of course, because there are other things that need to be considered. How do you see the future? Do you think those structures will dissolve, especially like in Germany? Do you have any predictions maybe or any yeah. experiences? I th yeah, I think you will have to dissolve. Um, and I think that maybe this generation might do, might not dare to do it because it's their jobs on the line. So, but I think when your generation grows up and becomes uh, grows up, you've grown up. But when your generation becomes ex high executives, I think you will dissolve. All right. Thank you very much.